No way. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not moving. Oh, that's the brake, law. Okay. The Singapore Civil Defence Force is using this lab to train its next generation of frontline officers. The data gathered will be used to provide SDF with insights on how they can better train their officers, both physically and mentally. Soon, other home team agencies will also be able to tap the technology and equipment in the lab to supercharge their performance. But for now, the lab will be putting me to the test. My name is Jessie Lim and I am with The Straits Times. The first lab that I will go through is Strive. It is an advanced biomechanics lab that has a dual belt treadmill and motion capture system. With the aid of these trackers, Strive is able to give SCDF officers real-time feedback on their physical performance. And once the tracking starts moving, you can go along. Oh my gosh, this should be part of like some of the more modern gyms. I've just finished trying out Strive. With me is Hinfong. Hinfong, can you tell us a bit more about my gait report, please? Okay, Jessie. So an interesting point that we picked up from the report is that your ankle tends to pronate more than usual. So that means that uh, your ankle roll inwards more than normal and that uh, increases your risk of injuries. Oh, okay. Maybe that's why I always injure my ankle. Captain Hafiz, based on my results, it shows that when I walk, my walking style means that my ankles tend to roll inwards. And how do such findings help our SCDF officers? Right. So this is especially important for our SCDF responders in that we are known to carry heavy loads during training and operation. So with early identification and early intervention, we'll be able to reduce the onset of the injuries. The next lab that I'm going to try now is the Fitness Evaluation Lab. They are going to test my grip strength and lower body power. Okay. <laughs> I'm so tired from jumping. From the jump test, they found out that I am able to generate 5.5 watts per kilogram. While I thought that was not bad, I found out that for SCDF officers whose data have been collected so far, their average is about 12.25 watts per kilogram. My grip strength was also tested, and I found out that my grip strength was 30 kg. To put this into context, in overseas studies, the average grip strength of firefighters was around 50 to 55 kg. The Excel lab also has a cognitive lab. This is where they do research and development on how they can enhance responders' cognitive and behavioural performance. So I tried out the eye tracking system, one of the tools in this lab. To test my situational awareness, I was shown a video of a fire scene. As the fire engulfed the building, I could not help being mesmerised by the flames. But a more experienced firefighter would have also noticed other elements, such as persons at risk and potential fire hazards. Now, I am going to experience what it's like to drive an ambulance, or almost the same thing. It's a driving simulator which helps SCDF officers instill good driving habits while on the road. Accelerate! Whoa! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Lee is the head of the Responders Performance Centre which oversees Excel. So sir, why is it important to collect all of this data and to uh, you know, have this data to profile our SCDF officers? So with the establishment of Excel, right, we hope to be able to look into research that allow us to uh, establish a standard for the local firefighters in SCDF. How does having this data, how would it help the individual SCDF officer improve whether it's his physical uh, fitness or his cognitive ability? From the fitness profiling sessions, right, we actually provide the trainees periodically and update them on their performance and uh, they can actually monitor their progress in terms of how they have improved with the physical training that we've introduced. And this also allows us to uh, do a comparative analysis to look at how they have performed in terms of uh, individual versus their training cohort and provide them with uh, insights or even alter our training regime to target the specific area for their improvement. After spending an afternoon in Excel, I have learned so much about how rigorous SCDF's training can be. At the last station I tried, uh, which was the Digital Learning Lab, I drove an ambulance in a simulator. 
It was clear that I don't have a talent for driving, but this only shows that you need many skills such as having good hand-eye coordination, strength, and the ability to think quickly in all situations. As for me, I think I'll continue to be a journalist and leave it to our officers to keep Singapore safe.